the arpeggiator in the new software package, and now we're going to look at the polysonic synthesizer. So far, we've looked at the oscillators in the package, the filters, mixer, shaper, and uh, filter envelopes, and amp envelopes, LFO1, mod envelopes, and filter 3. I've, uh, in the last few tutorials, I went so far as to map the amp envelope, the wavetable oscillator over here, number 3, and uh, our format filter, which we have assigned as filter 3. But one thing we have not looked at is the step sequencer, which is down here. Now, if you noticed before, I had an arpeggiator hooked up. The RPG-8 monophonic arpeggiator is hooked up to this. It's running a pattern. And if I play, we get this. But what I want to do is expand on that pattern a little bit. And there's a basic step sequencer built in to the actual Thor unit. And it doesn't have the range of the arpeggiator, but it works in a similar way. If you'll notice, I turn on run. I'm going to run it with the arpeggiator. And you'll notice nothing. This is something I wanted to show off because I did this as a uh, noob using it for the first time. Uh, you actually have to turn on the step sequencer, which sounds basic as hell, but it's a noob mistake that a lot of people could make, and it's good to know. So... If you go to trigger up at the top here, you'll even see it when the program is closed. Trigger MIDI and step sequencer. So we want that on. Now bring the programmer back. And now when I hit play. I can actually change this up per value of each note. You'll notice uh, one of these is assigned per note. And the rate is over here. So I'm going to keep the rate the same as the arpeggiator. Take it up to 1 16th. And I can go to the edit parameters knob here, which if you'll notice, these knobs over here change with it. Right now I have the notes set to uh, different octaves, but I can actually go to note and uh, change these up. So let's say I want to have C5 be my first, and then I want C3, and then I want C2. And I'm just going to create a pattern of that. It's going to take a second here. Let's see how that sounds. Now, right now, we have a pendulum effect set up. I can actually, there are two different forms of that. There's also pendulum two, and we'll see what that looks like if we uh, bring this back to the beginning. I can also reverse the play. You'll notice what's being affected is the actual play. Right now it's going reverse, forward, or random. All right. So let's look at edit again. We can edit velocity on each of these. I can alternately make one hard and one soft. And you can get a little bit random with those two and really kind of experiment with how you can make it sound. All right, let's play it. Something else you can do is change the gate length. So if I want to uh, have this open, maybe bring it down every three. Let's try that. And again, you can do this all on the fly. 